You the generals and Oxus. Pay attention. Going to learn to do the pinky things with the, the sticky things and the color things. Pay attention. The Goblet King is here. Welcome Reaper Mini fans. Today we have the Dwarven War Cannon and I got this um, because it's a fantastic model and it also comes in the brand new uh, boxes. These new ABS boxes I think are absolutely minted. They really are so much better than the old plastic round version. These just look good. I really like these boxes a lot. So there we are, We what we have today, we have four dwarfs and the war cannon. So I will come back and I will get the miniatures out and we can have a look at the miniatures and start painting. So let's have a look at the cannon and the crew. Well, the cannon comes in five parts. We've got the base. These will all have to be painted separately before I stick it together to make it easier. You've got the wheel axle. Wheels are very nice. And of course the cannon itself. And then we have the crew. We have one dwarf holding the cannonball. We have the guy who pushes the gunpowder to the bottom of the cannon. I don't know the correct name for this guy. We also have the guy who lights the cannon for it to shoot. Very nice. And of course we have probably the captain and also the spotter this is the guy who will tell the cannon crew where to shoot so there we are fantastic i am going to give these a coat of white msp primer and then we'll come back and start painting okay so we've got our nice primer coat on and the colors i'll be using today i will be doing a uniformed color for the cannon and the dwarfs and that will be using gory red now all the wood will be painted red all the cloaks and sandals and boots on the dwarfs will be red as well i have some scholar flesh which will be for the faces uh, solid black for boots and buckles um, turf green will be for the bases and for all the metal parts today we're going with army painter bronze so i will paint all these prime colors over the whole miniature and then we'll come back. So all the colors have been blocked in on the whole miniature. As you can see, I've added the nice reds for the wood. I've got the bronze for all the uh, metal areas. I've added some silver to the rivets. Um, with the dwarfs, I had some clear orange by MSP, absolutely beautiful color. And I've used that for the beards. So what I'll do is I'll I'll add all the ink washes now. Now for the um, bronze, we'll be going for brown on the cannon. So it'll be brown all over. And the same with the um, dwarfs as well. They'll all get the same brown ink washes. Um, so I'll come back once it's all dried. And then it's a case of just highlighting. It's a very simple process from there. All the ink washes have been added. Now I'm starting on all the highlights. Once the highlights are done, I'll come back and I'll show you the finished miniature. But it already looks absolutely stunning. I'm loving that brass effect going along the cannon. Beautiful. Oh, and by, by the way, what I've done with the flames in this miniature, um, I've been using this contrast yellow from Games Workshop and it works perfectly for your flame effects. So there he is, he's just about to light the cannon there. <laughs> okay, I'll come back and show you the finished miniature. So here we are, this is the finished Dwarven War Cannon. Absolutely beautiful. I've tried to keep it as classic as possible with my paintwork and keep it very old school. And I think I have achieved that 80s to early 90s look for a Dwarven campaign. This will look fantastic in anybody's tabletop games. So there we are, this is the Dwarven War Cannon 
by Reaper Miniatures. If you enjoy what I'm doing, then please hit that sub button. If you want to support the channel, then please become a patron. All patrons are added to the end credits of all my videos. So, until next time.